everyone, I'm Melanie Ray. Welcome to my new vlog. It's something I've wanted to do for a while because I feel that I have a voice and I really want to share it with the world. So about once or twice every week I'm going to be on here on YouTube sharing my stories with you, sharing my insights and I hope that it inspires and encourages you. So tonight I'm looking at the idea of giving, equaling, loving. Now, I'm working in early childhood, as some of you might know, and so often I get given pictures with so much paint on them that the paper's nearly falling apart and soggy, half-eaten cookies smushed into my hands. And these are the ways that the children show their love for me. The reason that paper has so much paint on it is because they poured so much love and passion and enthusiasm into that painting and then they gave it to me. The reason they give me that soggy, half-eaten cookie is because they want to share it with me because they're enjoying it so much and want to share that enjoyment. If you're anything like me though, when a child smushes that half-eaten cookie into our hand, we say, that's okay, you keep it. But God actually goes one better. When we give to God, He not only gives back what we gave Him, but he multiplies it 10, 20, 50, even a hundredfold and gives it back to us because he loves us. Giving is one of the simplest representations of love. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. One of my favorite stories in the Bible that relates to giving is of the old woman with two copper coins. Many people had been giving donations to the temple that day. Rich people had been giving huge donations. And then along comes this widow with just two small copper coins and places them in the offering plate. Jesus, after seeing this, turns to his disciples and says, This widow has put in more than all of the other people because she put in everything that she has. Now when Jesus made this statement, I don't believe that he was just talking about the woman giving everything financially. I think he was also referring to the fact that the woman had given everything spiritually. The moment that she put those two copper coins in the offering plate, she completely surrendered to God. She put all her faith and her trust in God, a full surrender, because she could not provide for herself out of her own strength, because she had just given everything she had. She, at that moment, became vulnerable and dependent on God, like a child, if you will. There's a place in the Bible where parents are bringing their children to meet Jesus, and the disciples try to turn them away. And Jesus says, no, wait, stop, let the children come to me, and do not hinder them, because the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Jesus desires for us to be childlike in our relationship with him, to be dependent on Him, to show that we love Him by giving to Him in the knowledge that He loves us enough to provide everything that we need. There's a place in the Bible where it says, How great is the love that the Father has lavished on us, that we might be called children of God, and that is what we are. So I encourage you this week, Give to God, show Him that you love Him, and know that He loves you. Just give your whole heart, give your time, give your worship, give everything that you are to Him, and watch the fountains of blessing pour out on you as His love embraces you like never before. See you next week.